Hola, ¿qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Do you speak Spanish? Ah, uh, un poco. Okay, I, I start. Yeah, no, no, don't start Spanish. I, I start. I start with eighteen. Uh, hi, Zelen. Nice to nice to meet you in Budapest. How how was your flight yesterday? Um, my flight was really, really, really amazing. Um, it's really easy. It's only two hours from London, so it's really cool. It's cold here at the moment, though, so I'm really wrapped up. My scarf, my gloves. I bought these over here. And I'm, uh, I'm really excited for the show. We're going to raise the uh, Is it uh, your first time here in Budapest? First time? No way. This is like my fifth or sixth time. This is like my second home. Um, I've performed here so many times. And I recently have a project with Yavor as well that we've released uh, called Fight for Love. Um, so you guys check it out, check it out. Uh, why did you say second home? Um, it's my second home because I've been here so many times. Yavor and I have been working on a project, a music project, um, for a while now. We have a concert in January 22nd, and also we have that one in March. So um, uh, I've been here so many times. I was here only a few weeks ago, uh, for about maybe about three weeks. So you know, it's amazing. I love, I love Budapest. I love Hungary. I love the whole culture. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. And do you, do you like uh, to work with Yavor and the project? Definitely, the random trip is always exciting, it's always different, um, there's always lots of energy and fresh energy because there's so much different talented artists there. Um, but with Yavor and I, it's just really special, the chemistry um, that we have, the music we have coming out is really explosive, it's really exciting, and I can't wait for 2016. Uh, I have now a funny question. Okay. Do you like skating? I do like skating quite, quite often. Um, uh, I wobble a bit at first, but um, I'm trying to now learn how to skate backwards, do the moonwalk like Michael Jackson backwards. I haven't, got, I haven't got to that stage yet, but I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. That's really funny. Uh, the, the MBM is making a charity Guinness record uh, project. Uh, what do you think about charity? I think charity is very, very, very important. Um, some people may know that I used to uh, work with Amy Winehouse and I had a song called You Let Me Breathe and I donated to her charity when she passed away. Um, so charity is very, very important and um, I think if we could all help, um, just do something to help to help people, I think it's very important. And what are your plans uh, for Christmas time? How are you going to spend the Christmas holidays? I am um, not doing any work, uh, my family won't allow me, I'm going to have an amazing time with my family, it's one of the most amazing times for me at the year, um, we're going to have lots of fun, there's going to be lots of the, the younger generation, the children, um, you know, food, the presents, it's going to be awesome, singing, we have singing competitions, and my grand, me and my grand singing duets, it's fantastic, love it. Uh, what is your favourite Christmas food? Um, you know, it used to be it used to be the turkey, um, but I stopped eating meat about nearly two years, in February over two years. So um, I guess it's just a combination of everything. I personally like to get a bit more thick, um, so, you know, fish definitely is my my thing. Now, but, yeah. Uh, what about presents? Do you like presents? I love presents. Who doesn't love presents? The thing is though, uh, uh, nowadays I more give more presents than I receive, but that's okay because I like, especially like my nephews, um, I really like seeing their eyes light up when it's Christmas time. That's really special to me. So um, uh, yeah, uh, but hopefully I can I can send this message out to all my family and friends. Get me some Christmas presents. Yeah. And also my. my my birthday is very close, so my birthday is December the 1st, so sometimes they either get me one or the other, but get me Christmas, you got me a birthday now. Um, my worst present has probably not happened once, but happened over and over and over again when my grandparents would have just got me some socks or something, some boxes or some socks. But, you say that, but there are times when you need those boxes. When you you know you when the washing hasn't been done, you think, oh, that Christmas boxes and socks I didn't want to wear, I would definitely wear it now. So um, that's the one of the worst presents, but it's needed, and they're very smart because they you know they know you know they buy stuff that's needed. Thank you very much. No worries, no worries. Thank you, thank you.